guys and welcome back to another video as you may be able to tell from the title this is a Primark haul now I went a couple of weeks ago to the lakeside store with my friend Charlotte um, and I'm not gonna lie I was disappointed mainly because all the stuff that's on there on Primark's um, Instagram and Facebook I didn't find in the store and there was loads of stuff that I had seen that I really wanted so I was very disappointed that they weren't in store saying that though I did come away with two bagfuls I'm not gonna lie this one's really heavy and this one started to rip so saying that and moaning that there wasn't enough in store I still managed to buy loads of stuff that I didn't really need but I liked I picked up um, there's not going to be a try on clip to these because I am currently working on a another video coming shortly which is going to be like a styling video of how I style all the different pieces I got from here and Shion there's a Shion haul coming soon um, yeah so I'm just going to get on with it and I'll show you the bits I did pick up and then it's in no particular order so I'm just going to dive in and I'll show you what I got so I'll start with the book bag because why not so this is a lovely grey cardigan this was £9 I got most of my stuff I got in small um, so I picked these up in a small so this is just a long line grey cardigan it's got the long sleeves with these grey um, oh might help if I kept hold of the arm these silvery buttons and it's just long line and it's got these lovely pockets and I just basically wanted a cardigan that I could just throw on over different bits and pieces so like even this outfit I could just chuck that on with um, just because it's getting into those colder months now but it's not too cold at the moment but you don't want nothing to I want a layer basically then I picked up this. Now I'd seen once on the website, uh, on the website they don't have a website on the <laughs> the their Instagram, and it was black and it was longer at the front, and sh no, shorter at the front and longer at the back. And I'd seen it on their Instagram, and I'd seen a few people's YouTube videos, and they'd picked up some. And then when I went, they didn't have any, so I was a bit disappointed because I wanted a black version of this, but. I ended up getting this one anyway I do like this one um, so this is just one of those I can't remember what they're called the jumpers with no sleeves I can't think what they're called but this isn't a jumper with no sleeves it's just a throw over um, I actually wanted the jumper um, but this will still do the same job basically I wanted this to lay over for a white shirt um, that trend is on point and it is friggin lovely I love how soft this one is this is like a creamy color and it's just got this little zip here that actually does undo which is nice because normally sometimes you get the zips that are just like fake and it's like well what's the point of the zip this one here was six pounds and this was a one size fits all kind of thing um so yeah so I just picked that up I don't know how it's gonna look on but we shall see when I try to style it all up. The next thing I picked up, oh my god, I didn't get this in my size because I didn't have my size. I got this in a medium and this was £10 um, and this is the knitted vest that everybody has been raving about and everybody's been going crazy over and I wanted the cobbled, oh, it comes with a jumper, cardigan, I wanted the cardigan, they didn't have the cardigan. So I just picked this up and they only had it in this size which I'm a bit disappointed about because obviously it's probably going to be too big but I will figure out a way of styling it. So it's just this like knitted vest top with these lovely uh, embroidered flowers on in all different colours. Now I have just picked up, sneak peek, I have just picked up a lovely lilac knitted cardigan that will go lovely over the top of this so 
I might try and style them together and see how they work but I did want a small because I didn't want it to be too big and too boxy but we'll have to wait and see last thing in this bag that I picked up was this jumper and I got this in a small this was £13 so it's just this grey thin knit jumper and it's got like this lace detailing coming out the top of the collar and it's also got them coming out the sl sleeves as well um, I just love this I didn't think this looked like Primark at all I, f I kind of feel like it's more like Topshop or Sarah kind of vibes so I picked that up that's all from the ripped bag so my mum wanted one of these to store all her skincare in because I store mine in one of these I got from Primark um, ages ago and it's just a, a friend's one but mum wanted one so I picked her up this one and this was only £5 so it's just got flowers on it and it's quite big inside I'm not going to open it because she's actually using it um, but these, if I just pull the sips around I can't show you sips the sips are just like that floral and butterfly but butterfly print why can't I say butterflies jeez um, and that was five pounds so I picked that up for her another thing that I've worn because I couldn't wait to wear and plus this is the second time of me filming this haul guys I filmed it once and my footage got lost so I'm filming it again and hopefully it all goes to plan so I've actually worn these but these are these were seven pounds and they come in a pack together and it's just these cute little jammers so this is the top so it's love like hearts on the top I've got them in a small um, and they're long sleeved I just love these and they're so cozy and I also got the bottoms that go with them which are just they're coming up more red on camera but they're like burgundy um, so I picked those up I also picked up a bunny pair so it was like light pink with bunnies on it and it had like a pink top I picked those up in a small thinking they were a small when I got home they were a large so my mum's got those but she's currently wearing them so I can't show you them so I'm sorry but the next thing I picked up was some bedding basically my mum picked up some bedding a little while ago and it made me jealous so I wanted new bedding <laughs> not gonna lie so I see this bedding and I absolutely love this bedding so this is just like a paisley print so it's just this these colors here and then on the back it's like reversible so you can have like leaf print on the back um, leaf print not on the back but leaf print on show first or you clip it over and have paisley print and that was nine pounds, so I can't wait to change my bedding. Okay, next thing I got are just pretty basic, but I needed some more trainer socks, so I just picked up some trainer socks. So I've got a spotty pair, so I've got a navy spotty pair, a white spotty pair, a grey plain pair, uh, another navy, another white plain navy, and then spotty pair these were two pound fifty for seven pairs i don't think that's bad at all now these i'm very disappointed about well not these particular ones but when i went in normally primark have like a whole big selection of these um what are they called invisible socks they didn't they literally had this one pair so obviously it was Minnie mouse and disney so i was going to pick them up anyway but I wanted some more and they didn't have them so I was a bit disappointed because these were the only pair so yeah I don't know what Primark's doing at the moment but I got some this mini mouse pair some little minis and then this white one for oh my god I can't even close it for how much were you £3.50 so it's not too bad but I was just a bit disappointed that the fact that they didn't have like as much as what I thought they would um, I got some soft touch 100 denier tights in a size small for £3 uh, £5 sorry um, basically 
basically I just needed some tyres that actually fitted and didn't fall down all the time. Um, so yeah, they're just tyres. I don't know what else to say, they're tyres. Next thing I'm going to show you. Um, I don't normally show underwear, but why not? I picked these up. So I picked them up, I mainly picked them up for the top. Because the top is what I've been living in. Um, all through lockdown because where I've not been going to work I've not had to you know so and I've just been like in my comfies so I picked this set up for five pound and it's just this this bralette here um, that is super soft and then they come with these underwear underwear um, fog um, so I just picked them up so I picked them up in white and I picked them up in this, oh it's not showing up properly on camera, it's like this bluey colour, blue purple shades and they're just super, the bra is just super super comfy to just chuck on and wear so it's like you're not wearing a bra but you feel like you've got something on anyway. I've just been living and dying in those all through lockdown, comfort guys, just comfort right, that's all what I'm about at the moment. Um, and the last thing I picked up were these pointed matte velvet nude nails they're coming up right they're, they're coming up a bit darker on camera but these were a pound and I I can't paint my nails because my nails are like too short and they look horrible like look at those they're just disgusting so and I don't really like the acrylics because they just weaken your nails um, so I thought, you know what, I'll just try these out and see how they go. They had loads of other shades and colours and stuff. Um, so I just thought I'd give them a go and see how they are. And if they go well, then that's great. If they don't, then it don't matter because it's a pound. Um, so yes, so that was everything I got in Primark, Prim Primark guys. Oh my god, what's wrong with me? I can't speak. That's everything I've got in Primark, guys. Um, I hope you have enjoyed, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Okay, so this is the bedding on. I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like on. So you can have it this paisley side, or if I just flip it over for you guys, you can see. You can have it this uh, leaf print instead. It's entirely up to you. But I'm currently loving the paisley side, so yeah, I'm impressed.